Oh, oh, baby. <sighs> oh, yes. There, oh. there. Oh, no, there. Oh, oh. oh. <sighs> Oh, baby, uh, you are uh, the greatest! Uh, this has got to uh, be the best night of my life! I need more, Larry. More. And something new. Here, slip into these. God, Shamra, is there anything we haven't done? There's lots I haven't done, Laffer. That's why I'm leaving you. Leaving? Now? A night with you gives a woman plenty of time to think. All that New Age philosophy crap just isn't me. What I really love is money. You can't leave me here like this. You're right. So long, sucker. Hey, I don't smoke. Oh, baby, you are the lowest. This has got to be the worst night of my life. <sighs> well, at least things can't get any worse. I should never say that. My comb-over could use a little thickening. Attention! It's attention. a good thing Shamor used those white scripts last night. House. I can just reach them from here. Me? Yes, you! The person who spent the night with Shamra. Leave now. We think there may be a fire you somewhere. Open the The lower part... Maybe... Yes! Yum! Are you crazy? This is the 40th floor! Don't you worry! We've got the net here! You don't need to use that in that way. At least not now. Keep... This glass door leads to the balcony. And safety. Lovemaking must have overheated the frame. Yeah, right. Hey! Oh! Hey! What's this? Ow! I hate paper cuts. Ow! I hate paper cuts. Yump! Yump! Okay, I'm coming! I wish I had for myself a dollar every time I've heard that. Just leapt from the 40th floor of a burning building! What are you gonna do next? I'm going to... take a cruise!
Oh, hello there, boat babes. My name is Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. Welcome aboard the PMS Bouncy, Laffer. I'm Captain Thigh. Before this cruise is over, she'll be falling all over me. <laughs> Here's your key card, Mr. Laffer. There's been a slight problem with your room. Eh, I kind of expected that. Oh, not to worry. I took the liberty of substituting our largest cabin. You'll have plenty of room. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's super. Thanks. Now, um, where would my room be? Oh, just check the map. You're in room zero. Your attention, hmm. please. I think I'll Anyone scan a little of this first to see if it's something I want to read in there. Please report immediately to the ship's lounge. Yeah, baby. There's no need to use that there. You insert your key card into the slot with I'd like to complain about my room. <laughs> you and everyone else. You're lucky you have a room. It's weirdos like you that spoil everything for the rest of us normal folks. Hey, back off, bucko. Yes, that is my favorite position. And while you think you're big stuff now, you just wait until we're in charge. Then you'll be singing a different tune. Then you'll be glad to even have a room. What in the hell is wrong with you? Oh, I think you know well enough. The CIA put mind control drugs in Pew's house paint, and now all the interior decorators are under their control. I can't stand it! I'm a little worried about the charges on my account. Could you check my balance for me? Of course. Wait here, I'll be right back. Excuse me, miss. Um, that's Ms. Victorian Principles. Nice to meet you. My name is Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. Oh, I so love dual first names. One cruise I met Boutros Boutros Golly.
Did I mention my name is Larry? Now would you like to have sex? You're disgusting. You'll never get anywhere with me, you pathetic loser. Well, nice talking to you, Victorian. Perhaps I'll stop by later. Alrighty then. Good day. Your attention, please. There is a meeting starting immediately in the ship's yeah, lounge baby. for any and all passengers wishing to spend next week working under the captain. Yeah. Whoa, sorry, dude. You gotta stop here. Why? What's wrong? You. You can't enter the pool like that. Like what? Like that. You know, dressed. Why not, dude? Safety reasons, dude. For sure. Safety reasons? Way. Purser's orders. That polyester fabric could ignite in this tropical sun. So, drop them. Well, I don't think I should enter naked. I mean, everyone would, um, stare, you know, at my, uh, <clears throat> physical attributes. Yeah, for sure. You know, um, dick. Once I went into a restaurant that required a tie, and, well, because of my personal aversion to owning anything other than leisure wear, um, I never had a tie. So, I... Sure, I got courtesy loaners. Oh. This little dude right here is exactly what you need. Oh, great. Of course I couldn't get a normal swimsuit. Can I at least have a towel to cover it up? For sure! No problem, dude. Now, don't get it wet. It might shrink. <laughs> oh, well. Cybersmith 2000. Oh, I got sunscreen in my eyes. Boy! Oh, towel boy! I need a towel here, please, quick! <gasps> Oops. Oh, boy. Oh. Thank you. Well, well, what have we here? <laughs> Is that your trunk or are you just glad to see me? And what's your name, little Babar? Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. And you? Drew Barrymore. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen a cod piece since I took Professor Lipkin's minor playwrights of the late Elizabethan period during my sophomore year at Barnard, and I've never seen one with such a cute African influence. You know, I'm quite interested in history, but I'm essentially ignorant of anything past the tertiary level African tribes. Could you share a little of its immediate history with me? Perhaps its regional influences or its acquisition history? Oh, well, the cabana boy gave it to me because I forgot my swimsuit. Oh. You don't have any clothing at all, do you, Drew? Of course not. I love nudism so much that just as soon as I board ship, I get rid of every single piece of pesky clothing. Good idea. And I force my cabin boy to lock up my suitcase someplace where I can't possibly find it so I can spend the entire week here by the pool naked. I eat, sleep, sun, and swim here, never leaving the comfort of the chaise. It may not be an ideal vacation for everyone, but for me, well, it's what I love most. Oh, this tropical sun is brutal. I hope you don't mind, Larry, but I need to spend a few minutes rubbing this sunscreen all over my naked body. Need help? No, but nice try. I really like the way it makes my skin glisten, you know? The way it brings out the soft little hairs on the back of my neck, my arms, my... Stop! I can't take it! Aww, I didn't realize I was being so hard on you. Excuse me, Larry, here comes a waiter. This'll just take a second. Waiter! A waiter! Hey there, beautiful. What can I do for you? I want a gigantic erection. Well, looks like your uh, little buddy there's got you covered, huh? What? I said bring me a gigantic erection. Well, okay, baby. I'm your man. Well, where is it? I'm working on it. Am I moving that computer? <laughs> Look. 
I want a mixed drink, a cocktail, you know, lime juice, 151 proof rum, vodka, triple sec, mayonnaise with a hollowed out frozen banana to suck through. You know, a gigantic erection. Okay, but uh, it'll take a while, you know. So, uh, did I ever tell you I know Al Lowe personally? Who? Oh, I remember him. He came through here last November. Unimpressive. Yeah, maybe. Not him, Larry. You. I think I'll have a drink myself. Oh, uh, waiter, I want the same thing the lady ordered. Nice suit. Uh, no, uh, please, bring me a gigantic erection. Oh, uh, that'll take a while for the bartender to fix. Wait right here. I've never heard of a gigantic erection. Oh, it's my favorite drink, Larry. Usually I suck it all down, then nibble for hours on its hard, frozen banana. Oh, lordy, lordy, help me, lordy. Uh, Drew, I'm gonna go now. Okay. Your attention, please. Anyone wishing to spend next week inspecting the captain's sea drinks, anyone? Please report immediately to the proud Shit. little sea. Yeah, yeah could I get a little gene dip over? Oh, oh no. no. What's a guy gotta do to play some craps around here? Well, whatever it is, I'm not doing it. All right, I am gonna hold my breath until you let me play craps. <gasps> 